What's going on guys, Challenge here, and today I want to make a video talking about all the details we know as of right now surrounding Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Now yesterday the trailer released, it looked pretty impressive again, we didn't really see any gameplay, but we got a good sense of what's going to be happening and when is this taking place. Now first things first, we are going to be talking about the main character of this story, Cal Kestis, he is a Padawan who survived the events of, you know, Palpatine's Order 66. He survived the Jedi Purge, and he is currently on the run, or right now as the beginning, we see him in hiding. He is trying to keep in a low, low profile, you know, maintain his secret, survive, don't trust anyone, and yeah. Now, when it comes to who is he going to be facing just besides the Empire, we have confirmed that it's going to be the second sister, one of the elite inquisitor inquisitors of Darth Vader's, you know, hunt squad of just people that just hunt down the Jedi trying to kill anyone who comes in their way now honestly i don't know too much about the second sister but i do know when i saw this that it wasn't an inquisitor we saw before there was always you know the second sister you know all these different inquisitors that we have yet seen because the inquisitor force is pretty big in a sense but again the second sister is one of the baddest out there for it seems like she is going to be bringing some heavy heavy heat to this journey of Cal Kestis of, as him trying to survive as well as piece together what he didn't finish when it comes to his training again this is a Padawan he has not reached the rank of Jedi Knight so we have seen similar stories with you know Kanan Jarrus and Ezra Bridger of like they haven't completed their trials yet they haven't be fully become a Jedi Knight so as we see in the trailer it seems like we're going to be hunting down relics of the Jedi and they did talk about in the panel that there's a lot of stuff when it comes to locations so we will be seeing a lot of locations in this game the majority of stuff we saw seemed to have been on one planet, but we got a few glimpses of what could be potentially the Sith planet. I don't know if we're going to travel to um, Malachor, or I forget what they call it in Clone Wars. I think it was Malachor. I don't know if we're going to be tra traveling down there, but again, there will be a lot of locations in this game, and it's something to be looking forward to. Now, last but not least, one of the um, another characters is that there's going to be a droid accompanying them. They talked about how, you know, there is no... Actually, not the last thing, but there is no Star Wars really without a droid. So pretty much the droid that we are going to be seeing is BD-1, who we saw in the uh, promotional picture standing next to him. And I think we see him slightly in some behind-the-scene footage on the panel. I don't know if that was released, but I did see that there. Small little droid helping out our main character. You know, similar to Battlefront 2, he's probably going to aid you in some combat stuff. We'll see how that plays out. And another thing, too, that we saw is that not only will we have to worry about the, seven, uh, the second sister... Pretty much alongside her, she's going to have these things called Purge Troopers, which are pretty much unique from what I know. I haven't seen them in any of the comics or heard of them in any of the uh, novelizations of Star Wars books around, but these are Purge, uh, Purge Troopers. They have a similar resemblance to the cl uh, Clone Marines. That was, uh, um, I don't even know, the guy, I forget the guy's name. The guy that said, you know, what about the Wookiees? The droid attack on the Wookiees, that guy when he was gunned down, pretty much... I forget they I know they're Marines per se they're like clone Marines they're kind of wearing similar armor to that sense now will they be clones in there we do not know as of yet but the last kind of details I want to be talking about is pretty much the era it's going to be taking place now we do know it's gonna be taking place between Revenge of the Sith and a new hope but when it comes to years after we if we look closely you know I see I said this in my, re my reaction trailer we look closely if you like you know look closely you see that there's TIE fighters and that they're currently stripping Venator class Star Destroyers from the Clone Wars era the Republic old fighters uh, capital ships down for parts and you see TIE fighters in this now in this a novelization of Star Wars Lords of the Sith that took place eight years after the events of Revenge of the Sith it was on Ryloth the Empire was still using V-Wings so it has to be some point after that eight year mark that, so 9, 10 years when they started shifting over to TIE Fighters has to be some point around there. Again, it seems like Cal Kestis has been keeping a low profile for some time. And, you know, he makes a mistake. It exposes his force powers and the Empire is back on the hunt for some more Jedi. But that's pretty much all the details I gathered when looking at this. Again, I'm really, really excited for this in general. I cannot wait to see some gameplay stuff in the coming weeks months per se e3 i expect them to show something of fallen of jedi fallen order as of right now this is ea's strongest game that it has on roster when it comes to the fact that it's very consumer friendly when it comes to there's no microtransactions there's no it's a story based driven star wars game which we wanted for so long but again i cannot wait to see more of this game it looks very promising a lot of new stuff but yeah a lot of familiar stuff that we're going to be seeing but that's all pretty much all i got for this one hope you guys you know 
found this very enjoyable. Now, I know I've seen some things saying it's Barriss um, from the Clone Wars, the rogue, the Jedi that took the Jedi pattern one that went rogue. I do not think the second sister is, you know, this person, Barriss. I forget her whole name. But I do not think it's this person because I'm pretty sure the second, second sister is already well established in the comics in the recent Darth Vader comics. But it's pretty much again, that's all I got for this one. If I missed any details, let me know in the comments down below. Let's have a conversation about it. But that's until next time, guys. That's all I got for this one. Shannon G here, and I'm out.